What's up loves? I'm in Miami, so I figured I would do like a get ready with me, probably not talk through because I wanna have this door open so I can get a nice breeze while I'm doing my makeup. But I packed pretty much all the makeup that I brought in this bag right here, which is very good for me. I normally bring like so much makeup. Oh my gosh, the last time I went to Miami, my face was like melting off. So like I mentioned, majority of my makeup products are in this MAC makeup bag, but I, also added a few beauty products in this bag mostly like primers and things like sprays and i also have some lip stuff in this bag and all of my makeup brushes are in this case right here so i'm just going to show you the makeup brushes that i brought i mainly brought my mac makeup brushes i think yeah these are my mac makeup brushes And I bought majority of these brushes during that sale that they had. They had like a 50% off sale and I mean, I racked up because I didn't have a lot of MAC brushes. Like I used to buy MAC brushes, but not so much in the past few years. So like I said, I'm not going to talk through this video. It's going to be like a traditional get ready with me. So let's go ahead and get started so i did my brows off camera today i'm first gonna go in and conceal my eyelids this is gonna get rid of any discoloration and i'm using my sephora conceal and correct palette i love this palette for concealing my eyelids and also carving out my eyebrows it's really really good Next, I'm going to set the concealer on my eyelids with a translucent powder. This is my J-Cat Beauty Banana Powder. Now it's time for eyeshadow. The only eyeshadow palette I brought is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I've been obsessed with it. I'm first using the shade Sienna all over my crease. Next, I'm taking one of my favorite ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadows. This is in the shade Millionaire, and I'm applying it all over my eyelids. This is like my absolute favorite. Like if I had to choose an eyeshadow look that I would wear every day, it would always include Millionaire. It's just so bomb. I love that it's like glittery, but it still looks like somewhat natural. I don't know how else to explain it. Like if you don't have Millionaire in your life, and you see me use it this many times, like what are you doing? Next, I'm deepening up the crease with the Cypress Umber Eyeshadow. This is also from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and I'm just using it with a small crease brush. Now I'm applying my highlight shade underneath my brow bone. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby Highlighter. I love this stuff for underneath my brows and just as an overall highlighter. So I decided that I wanted to do wing liner today, so I'm going in with my Tarte Man Eater Liquid Eyeliner. And this eyeliner is really easy to get a nice precise line. It's actually like a brush applicator, no felt tip. I really prefer a brush applicator for liquid liner. And this one is really dark too, so I really like it. Honestly, it really doesn't matter what mascara I use on my top lashes because I always throw on false lashes, but today I'm using my Tarte Tardius Mascara and it's a very black mascara, so I really do enjoy this mascara even for my bottom lashes. Y'all, I'm so mad right now because I reached for the box of lashes to figure out like which lashes I used for this video and the box is empty, which means I didn't put my lashes back in but I have a backup of these lashes because they're one of my faves. Today, I am using my Ace Beauty Lolo PM lashes. Y'all already know how much I love these lashes. I've used it so many times. They're really long, but they still have like a natural feel to them, if that makes any sense, because it's not like super thick. But I also have a discount code for these lashes, so I'll link it down below for you guys. So I'm just cleaning up underneath my eyes with a makeup wipe, and I'm going in with my Smashbox Primer Water. And I have been obsessed with this primer. This is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. I don't even know if this primer is available anymore. I was trying to find it on their website and I didn't see it. 
but when I tell you this primer instantly like smooths out my face like I know you can see it on camera too and it kind of mats it too I'm obsessed with it so for foundation today, I'm using my trusty Lancome Tint Idol. This foundation never fails me and I am not going back to the Becca Ultimate Coverage Compaction Cream because it literally melted off of my face. But this foundation is the bomb. It never melts off my face. I don't care how hot it is. This stuff is amazing. I'm in the shade 520 Suede W. So for concealer today, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 30 Cafe. I had to chill out on the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream because I noticed that my eyes were like creasing really bad. Like the lines under my eyes were showing a lot more than normal. So I think that my under eyes have gotten drier over time, I guess, as I've gotten older. So I'm trying to use like more hydrating type concealers, but ones that don't crease because when you think of hydration, it can cause creasing under the eyes too. So I have to make sure it's not too dry and not too hydrating. So this concealer is pretty thin, so it's really good at not creasing under the eyes. So setting the concealer under my eyes is a two-step process. I first like to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Dark. Then I'm baking underneath my eyes with the J-Cat Beauty Banana Powder. This is what really helps my concealer under my eyes to not crease. It really sets it, which I love. So I have been loving the Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Loose Setting Powder as of late to set my foundation. It doesn't add a lot of coverage, but it just makes sure it sets your foundation and it doesn't set it like too matte, so I've been loving this stuff. Curling your lashes makes a huge difference, and I'm not talking about your natural lashes. Yeah, that makes a difference too, but I'm talking about your false lashes, so don't forget to curl them. Y'all know I had to pull out my favorite lip gloss of all time, Max Spite never fails me, the bomb, my favorite. And I'm going in with my eyeshadow underneath my eyes. I'm first going in with Sienna, that's the color that we used in the crease, just to blow out that lower lash line. Now it's time to add mascara to my lower lashes. I'm first going in with a primer, which I hardly ever use. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. And then I'm going in with my Tarte Tardiest Mascara on my lower lashes as well, just to get those lashes as full and long as possible. Now it is time to drench my face in highlighter. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Hustler Baby highlighter. I have not been able to put this highlighter down. Like somebody needs to take this highlighter from me because I'm obsessed with it. It is bronzer time. I cannot have a look without bronzer. Today I'm using my Bobbi Brown Deep Four Bronzer. Last but not least, it is time to set our entire face with the setting spray. This is the Makeup Forever one. I'm in Miami right now. I filmed this makeup look for you guys four hours ago so I have had this makeup on my face for four hours and it still looks really bomb so I really love this face for vacation on days where I want to be extra glam the last time I was in Miami I chose to wear the Becca ultimate coverage complexion cream and let me tell you my face was melting if I can find a photo of that I will insert it here because I looked a hot mess. I've never had my makeup melt like that. So I definitely do not recommend that foundation if you live in a warm climate because it will not last on you. I did use my Lancome Tint Idol. I love this foundation. It never fails me. And I use my Maybelline Fit Me. I don't have any problems. My face is pretty much still matte even with my makeup setting spray. So I'm really happy with this face. Camera battery just died. Good thing I have a backup with me. So I'm always charging one while I'm filming because I never want to run out of juice. Like, that's a no, no. And definitely subscribe, click that bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to give your girl a big thumbs up. 
and I will catch y'all in my next one. Bye. I cannot get over this natural lighting. I filmed this full makeup tutorial. Well, it's really a get ready with me with natural lighting. No artificial lights are on right now. The sun is about to go down and the lighting is amazing. This is making me contemplate my whole life right now. I need to move to Miami so I can get this good lighting, okay? I think I need to move here. Where are all my subscribers that are from Miami or that live in Miami? Let me know how that Miami life is on an everyday, not on a tourist level, not on a vacation level, but on an everyday type level. And I'm being dead serious, y'all, so let me know. <laughs>